this is just something cool to look at while we discuss a uh, subject and ma matter right here. Subject. And, uh, well, how is everybody doing on uh, YouTube? Day. I haven't been making videos, but I make whenever I can. And uh, whenever the Lord leads me, you know, it's it's not a world or manly thing to do or nobody's um forced me to do these videos and and um explaining explaining and uh sharing my journey here the, the spiritual journey and there's a worldly experience which is uh deluded evil and just disgusting you know it's a evil world It's uh, completely ridiculous, and uh, this is how the worlders and um, mm, <clears throat> the worlders work. You know the um, conformed to society worlders. Now that each um. Nod, nod, wink, wink, and uh, they each agree, agree with, agree with each other. And uh, I had a situation. As the this is about uh, the predictability of um, a world, or you know. You know, the ones that are conformed to the world system. I don't know. They're mind control drones, zombies. I've been using the bathroom at um, DQ, Derry Q, whatever, for a while. And this happened to me in Jack in the Box, too. And uh, every now and then I buy from that fast food place. All they got is just a bunch of fast food garbage junk, and especially in D DQ, none of it, none of it is cheap in Dairy Queen. Every once in a while, I buy something, and uh, I go to the bathroom there because I don't have a bathroom in my RV, and um, they're just so predictable. And um, I've been going there for a couple of weeks and months, the Dairy Queen, because I don't have a bathroom here, obviously. But uh, this first happened to me, Jack in the Box, which I like to call Jack in the Crack, because their food is just awful. Who would want to buy anything from there? I just go to, of course, a world mind control, zombie, drones. Um, blind, deaf, and dumb people would like to buy something there, and they do. I just go there to use the bathroom once in a while because I need to. Because, <clears throat> well, I have a bathroom here, and um, they um, the people there, the employees that work there, they're um, conformed. Drones and um, the worlders, they're like in the hive, hive mind, and they all agree with everything, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a enslaving mechanism. And basically, basically, they are telling me uh, I can't use this bathroom, I can't use that. Because of certain things, because of the um, missing, they're missing their customers. The customers are not able to use the bathroom, or they get busy, or whatever, you know. But I know that they are targeting me, targeting me specifically. Because uh, I buy 
from there once in a while because I use the bathroom. But this lady uh, wants um, the manager, or I don't know, the employee, Jack in the Box, you know, wants to threaten me. Well, if you go there again, I'm going to call the police or whatever. And she was obviously a Jezebel witch. You know. She just agrees and, and in the hive mind, you know, and spiritual, spirituality, spiritual warfare 101, you know, and, uh, and the Dairy Queen, I was in the bathroom for a couple of weeks and months, and the uh, people over there never saw me. I would never, I never, never show up in the front, you know, and I would just go in there quietly keep everything clean, you know, in the bathroom. And then, a couple of months later, all of a sudden, this lady, I don't know if she was the manager or whatever, she just came up when I got out of the restroom. She was, um, obviously, you uh, gang stalking, spiritual warfare 101, and she just all of a sudden told me, oh, we have this policy, you know, uh, restrooms are for customers only. Uh, I do buy things there every once in a while, too. But the funny thing is, you know, I would never go to the front so they would never see me. Well, obviously, they got cameras, too, but, you know. One that sticks up, you know, a hammer. Uh, now, it's up to get hammered down, but, you know, it's, um, that's how the hive mind and my control rotor slaves work, you know, they're so, they're just so predictable, you know, they just follow the, the, the mind control and you know, slavery rules and regulations of their job or whatever. And they don't think that um, only these days that they you know that could be them, you know, because you do reap what you sow. They don't think that one of these days, you know, uh, there maybe them they're gonna want to use the bathroom and they don't have money or bathroom at their place, and they don't want to buy anything because the food there is disgusting. And they're doing it to save money, you know, they don't understand. They just, they're just selfish, inconsiderate, and uh, nasty, you know. But anyways, that's the predictability of the worlders and the hive. You know, anyways, I gotta go, you guys. Really enjoy this video. And um, the worlders' predictability is really easy because they're very one-dimensional, you know. They um, follow a program and they stick it to it. They stick to it like uh, worker bees that they are, worlders, mind control, slaves in the world system. You know. And... Um, you got to have faith in Jesus Christ. You know, he will, I just prayed fast about it and didn't worry about it anymore. You know, I leave it to the Lord. The, um, the fight and the battle is the Lord God, Jesus Christ, the Creator. All things. You guys have a good day. Bye.